With rapid technology advancement comes the risk of data exploitation, cybersecurity threats, and privacy breaches. TCRC, or the Tibetan Computer Resource Center, serves as the backbone of central Tibetan administration, playing a vital role in digital infrastructure development, cybersecurity management, communication setup, and data protection. We are joined by Dinsen Siring, the head of TCRC, to discuss on TCRC's contribution to the smooth sailing of CTA's overall management system. Welcome to our program, Siringla. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, first of all, can you tell me briefly on TCRC's um, role and responsibilities? Uh, thank you so much, Sambala, for offering this uh, conversation. Uh, the TCRC main role in CTA is to serve the information technology and to secure our uh, technology infrastructures. And at the moment, we have 13 uh, staff. And out of 13, three of uh, four of them are contractual based, and rest all are civil servant. We have three subsections, malware analysis, web and databases sections, and technical support sections. Okay. So um, in the last year or two, uh, TCRC has um, successfully upgraded the digital infrastructure uh, within CTA. So tell me, can you elaborate a little bit more on that and tell me how does that um, contribute to the, to the efficiency of uh, CTA's overall management system? The information technology was last uh, upgraded uh, in the year 2014. So just recently, uh, four months ago, uh, we upgraded our network infrastructure, which includes networking switches, networking routers, different departmental switches. We also upgraded our uh, firewall, the primary firewall. Uh, and in this new firewall, uh, we have many features which include blockage of malicious activities, malicious uh, websites, malicious uh, IP addresses. And we actively monitoring all this uh, activity to secure our uh, CTA network. Then I just want to add one more thing. So in our uh, infrastructure upgradation, uh, we also upgraded the core switches. The main purpose of upgradation of the core switches is to uh, configure the VLAN. What VLAN does is, so uh, each department has their own uh, different VLAN numbers. The main purpose of the VLAN is to separate from the different networks. Suppose one of the department uh, network got compromises. What VLAN does is, uh, it will not transfer that compromised network to the different VLAN. So when you talk about security me uh, measurements, um, as the governing body in exile, uh, CTA is potentially a threat for cyber attacks, right? So um, uh, has TCRC ever experienced such attacks, especially from China? And if so, uh, how do you detect or identify those attacks? Uh, yes, the CTA is the most targeted by the uh, Chinese and also from the we received some uh, malicious IP from the Hong Kong in the past year. Uh, as per my best knowledge, uh, I have known two, uh, two of the malware analysis. Uh, one is from the uh, Mac applications. So uh, some, some of the devices are uh, infected by the Mac uh, application, like some of the users are using uh, crack uh, applications through that uh, crack applications, the malicious code into our uh, networks. And what it does is it transfers the files from our network to their destinations. So that was one, one of the biggest challenges that we have uh, known in the past history. So our TCRC network is uh, quite uh, secure. We have a robust sensor and we have the firewall also. And we actively monitoring the firewall and sensor. And secondly, uh, we have uh, seen one of the uh, malicious activity from the Windows Avast browser. Uh, what it does is it does the same uh, activity like the, it, uh, it comes into our network and it transfers the files to the, their destinations. And that also we detected from the, our sensor and we successfully uh, stopped those activity to uh, get entered into our uh, CTA network. So uh, in the day-to-day -day, uh, daily activity, we are getting some malicious activity through the uh, email, like uh, unknown senders, and they share some links and the PDF uh, files. Uh, and those are mostly, once we uh, 
analyze those uh, uh, PDF files, uh, we we uh, we saw that the most of the activities which uh, comes from the Hong Kong based uh, IP addresses, and at the moment we have two uh, uh, malware analysis uh, stuff. So they are uh, actively working on all the uh, malware. Uh, analysis uh, activities and uh, detecting any of the breaches and the loopholes in our CTA network. So when you talk about um, handling such attacks, tell me the response chain of TCRC look like, how long does it take for you to detect uh, and then to resolute such attacks? Uh, uh, when such activities arise in our network and we have two staff at the moment, and they are actively uh, working on any of the such uh, incidents. So we have, uh, at, to be honest, uh, we are using open source applications. So uh, we don't have any uh, license-based applications to detect those activities. They will provide you the reports uh, once we detect such bad activities. And they will provide the reports and resolution within 24 hours. Uh, that is the report I'm uh, talking about, and if the uh, system got infected, so it will take uh, almost like uh, five to six hours to uh, rebuild those uh, system. Can you tell me on um, as a, as the head of C TCRC, um, can you tell me what are your current um, biggest challenges? So the biggest challenges that we are facing at the moment is the lack of human resources. Uh, as I mentioned you earlier, that uh, we have a total of 17 seats uh, in our sections and we have only 13 staff at the moment and the four seats is still uh, vacant and we are getting more workloads on those staff. Through this channel, uh, I would like to encourage the professional to join our team. So by doing so, you are not only exploring your professional, but also you are getting opportunity to serve CTA. So uh, that is all the questions I have for you. Um, thank you so much, Tin Sring for speaking to us today. Thank you. Thanks, um, Thank you all for your time. Uh, that is all for this episode. I will see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.